All right, guys, so I just took my first firearms training course last night, and I wanted to get this on video right away and get my thoughts out there because I learned a ton. So I'm gonna go over what I learned, what I wish I did differently, and what my plans are for uh, firearms training going forward. Let's get to it. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you didn't already know, my name's Jay Costa. I'm a red-blooded American patriot here behind enemy lines, some would say, in the state of New Jersey. And if you get value out of this video after watching, make sure you watch first and get value. But if you do, smash that like button down below and also consider subscribing, especially if you're looking for firearms-related content in the state of New Jersey and states like it. But in this video, I'm going to go over my experience taking my first firearms training course. Now, if you didn't already know, if you're not following my previous videos, I did get my concealed carry license about six months or so ago and have been carrying every day since. And you know, when you start carrying a firearm every single day, you're taking on a huge responsibility to protect yourself, to protect your family, as well as possibly even protecting strangers. So this is a huge amount of power, a huge responsibility that you do need to uh, take seriously because if you if you don't know what you're doing, you could really not save a life but cost a life, including yours or even worse in many situations, someone you love or innocent stranger. So that's why I feel it's super important to uh, take training seriously uh, if you're going to be carrying every day. So that's what I planned on doing uh, this year. So the first course that I signed up for was a, cur uh, a, a course called Holster Draw, and I took it at Gun for Hire uh, gun range in Woodland Park, New Jersey. Here in New Jersey, at least north of New Jersey, Gun for Hire is kind of known as the gold standard when it comes to facility as well as training courses. Um, I don't have anything to compare it to. It's really the only place I've gone, and this is my first training course. The, I know the owner, uh, Anthony, does a ton of work uh, to fight and defend our Second Amendment rights. He has a podcast, Gun for Hire podcast. If you haven't uh, heard that, definitely check it out. He does a great job with that. But anyway, I did choose to go to Gun for Hire for this course, and this is Holster Draw. So the Holster Draw course, at least at Gun for Hire, is basically an, a beginner to intermediate sort of course that it's basically just starting the basics. It's teaching you the basics as well as starting the basics of learning, you learning the muscle memory, drawing your firearm from your holster safely and effectively, reloading, just getting the muscle memory just, just starting to be imprinted into, uh, you know, into your psyche. So it's basically the first step in order for you to get started where you can, you can trust yourself in a shit hits the fan scenario. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now, what do you need for a holster draw class like this? Well, they do require obviously a firearm along with a holster for that firearm, 250 rounds of ammo, also a, a couple magazine pouches as well. Now, when it comes to the firearm, you can use whichever one you want, but I think that it is very important to train with what you're going to be carrying every day. That would be my advice to you. If you're gonna carry a certain firearm, but then train with a different one, you're kind of defeating the purpose. The whole idea is, once again, to get that muscle memory, just get everything familiar so, so that it's second nature. You want that second nature feel when, like I said, God forbid something happens where you need to defend your life for someone else's. Now, this was a four-hour course, and the first hour was all in the classroom. We start out by basically talking about uh, different holsters, what the trainers uh, or the instructors recommend, what they don't recommend, and they basically just go over the basics of drawing from a holster safely, effectively. They, they give us an idea of what's to be expected once we go into the range, and after that first hour, the last three hours are in the range. In those three hours, I learned a ton, and they weren't, they weren't like super hard drills or anything like that, but you'd be surprised if you're not doing this every day, how foreign the feeling can be drawing your firearm from a holster. I realized right away, and this is the first thing that I learned, if you're not training, you're completely useless because if you're not training how to get that firearm safely out of your holster in an effective and efficient way, in, an, in a very limited to no stress environment like a gun range in a course, if that's making you nervous, you have a lot of training to go through where you're not going to be nervous in a worst case scenario situation. Even like reloading the magazines and things from the pouches, I mean, this was a foreign idea to me. I've really never done it. I've watched it a lot on YouTube videos. It was completely foreign to me and it took a while for me to actually start, even just start to get the idea of being used to 
um, you know, these sorts of manipulations of the firearm and the magazines and things like that. Another part of this course that I thought was very important was that it's it, it was mostly focused on number one being safety, but also a close second being accuracy. The timing was not an issue. So they would give you a command. They would say up and you have to draw from your firearm safely and effectively, aim at the target, you know, shoot, do whatever they told you to do and then reholster the weapon safely and effectively. Not once did I hear any of the instructors say that anyone needed to do anything quicker at all. Honestly, a lot of people were really taking their good old time. I think that that's very important in a course like this because you want to, once again, get those basics, get the muscle memory down, just keep practicing, keep practicing. As they say, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. So the slower you go, the smoother you are, then the more repetitions you get in, the faster you're just naturally going to be. So don't go into one of these classes, one of these courses, and just look like John Wick and pull a firearm. That's going to get a lot of people nervous, especially, obviously, if you're not uh, trained to do so. Another part that I thought was very interesting to learn was to get out of the mindset of being a gun range shooter, shooting from a port, shooting a piece of paper with a table in front of you, to being like an, I don't want to say active shooter, but like an active firearms handler, let's say, where there's no table in front of you. You need to always be aware of your surroundings on a 360 degree, um, you know, sphere of influence here. And you know, it really changes the dyna dynamic in regards to shooting and reloading and manipulations of the handgun. I mean, everyone can re reload a gun with a table in front of them with no stress, right? But you want to change that mindset completely, where even if you're at the gun range, that you're, you're training in that mindset and not in just the gun range mindset where I'm just going to uh, be as careful as humanly possible when reloading, carefully racking back the slide. Change the mindset that you're in from someone who is, I want to say, afraid of a firearm uh, doing something bad to now you control the firearm because as we all know a firearm is just a tool and you're the person that operates that tool. Now one thing that I do wish that I did uh, differently is the firearm that I brought. Now, I, let me get into that because I did bring the firearm that I carry every single day and that is the MMP uh, Shield Plus by Smith & Wesson and I have a Tenacore holster with it. Now, I knew almost right away that I was gonna have issues drawing from the holster in the way that I wanted to. And the reason for that is because I had the holster set up with the ride height and things in a way that it was kind of made for like ultimate concealment instead of ultimate accessibility. So I was having a really hard time getting my fingers underneath the, the frame, the grip of the gun, and being able to take it out of safely and effectively as, as much as I wanted to. Now a simple adjustment probably could have fixed that, but I didn't really have the time to do it. So really the whole course, I was extremely careful and cautious when drawing the firearm, just knowing that that may be an issue. So that's my tip for you guys. Make sure that your gear is like 100% ready to go before doing one of these courses in order to get the most out of it. Another thing that I learned was that a, a course like this doesn't have to only be taken once. I mean, if you feel like, even if they you know give you a pass to move on to the next course in the, in the series, if you feel like you want to or you'd get something out of taking the same course again, you should do it because the more repetitions, the more training you do, I would say is just going to help you in the long run. And one of the last things that I learned as we were leaving was how important it is to not just go to the gun range and shoot a piece of paper, but actually practice at home dry firing. As we all know, ammo costs money and sometimes a lot of money. In my experience, dry firing is really a better way to train as opposed to going out to the range and blowing through 200 rounds of ammo doing the same thing over and over. Like I said, the whole idea is to get out of the mentality of the gun range shooter and get more into the mentality of the concealed carrier who's going to have to know exactly what to do and get familiar with uh, the muscle memory and the instincts handling their firearm safely and effectively in an efficient way to, uh, to help as many people to protect as many lives as humanly possible. Now, so once I got through the, the uh, holster draw class, right away I signed up for the next one, and that is Urban Pistol number one. Now, I am going to that this Saturday, so I will definitely keep you guys posted on how that one goes, but I am super excited. I learned a ton from the holster draw class. If you're thinking about doing this course or one similar to it, I definitely recommend it. The guys at Gun For Hire are amazing. They were very, 
very well trained, and I learned a ton. Actually, one of the guys in the course even said he's taken four holster draw classes at four different places, and none even came close to the one at Gun For Hire. So if you're in New Jersey or New York tri-state area, definitely would recommend Gun For Hire. But even if not, there's a lot of really good, really great holster draw classes out there with great instructors. And yeah, I just truly, truly want to imprint on you guys how important it is to get started training because you may think just because you 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 hit the same hole on a bullseye of a piece of paper from 10 yards or whatever every time you go once a month to the gun range, that does not mean that you're a good shooter. A good shooter means someone who can manipulate the firearm safely and effectively and accurately under stress. And this was just the first like half a step of mine in order to get to that goal, but I'm excited to keep going along those steps. So like I said, I will definitely let you know my step two, Urban Pistol One, this Saturday. And um, yeah, if you have any comments about uh, holster draw classes, courses like it, any recommendations, things you like, things you don't like, drop a comment in the comment section down below. And like I said before, if you want more firearms-related content, especially content with firearms here in the state of New Jersey and states like it, you will love my firearms playlist. I'll put a link in the description as well as up here in the corner. But that's it for today, guys. I appreciate you guys watching as always, and I will see you next time.